paper cut. All right, everybody. Paper cut here with another replay review. This time we have Salah Magush, who's playing against my man Porter, who's checking out my Twitch stream all the time on my coaching discord sharing ideas and stuff love to see it that's just what happens the person asking for a replay review played against them um so salah magush is gold three at the time of this recording uh playing english against zushi um played by porter so this is an interesting matchup because um english is a sieve that can handle a lot of what zushi wants to do pretty well longbow's outrage uh uh outrage what am i trying to call them um zugnu and if the uh, it, uh what's interesting about this matchup is that english uh counters a lot of what zushi wants to do zushi wants to do mass zooks longbows outrange them zushi wants to uh go castle the english can just mass feudal units and cut them off of resources and make that castle not really go anywhere uh, if they want to if the zushi player wants to do super uh, like two like multi tcs english can match those tcs or they could just be a very aggressive and probably do a lot of damage while they're trying to do that. So English is a pretty good matchup for Zushi. So I'm interested to see what Scylla tries to do and why or why that doesn't work and give them some tips on the way. First thing I'm going to be looking for is an efficient opening. That's always the most important part. Do we see him hit 400 food and 200 gold at the same time? So he has an efficient age up, gain the sheep. Next I'm going to be looking for is as he's scouting, is he checking Porter's uh, eco, like what, where his resources are, if he's going to attack. If he does his, if he does like a 2TC fast castle, it's different. But if he's going to be aggressive, I want him to see where the resources are so he knows where he should be sending his longbows and like what he should be cutting off first. You don't want your scout getting there after they've aged up because then you're missing their opening moves. Abby King is going to be a 2TC. I'm interested if it's going to be 2TC Fast Castle or 2TC Aggression. If Porter... Now, this gives Porter space to do the Zushi Fast Castle. What he can do is he can Fast Castle Zushi, um, age up really fast, and then uh, basically... Ooh, oh! No! Hit the boar again! Oh my god. I do not know why the boar didn't attack. Salah, this is a great idea. I think you just shoot the boar one more time, but this was the right idea, honestly. Um, now, here's the thing. His gold is so forward... That if I was Salah, I would have considered switching out of my plan the second I aged up. Purely because this gold is so easy to cut off. And then once you cut off this gold, you can cut off the other golds pretty easily. Because this is Gorge and the resources are pretty split on the sides. That you could have basically pushed him off gold, towered it, and then he's done. Then he has to make Zoogs, but he'll run out of gold. So he can't make Zoogs. And that's one of the weaknesses of Zushi. They have no archers. <laughs> So if you stop them from making Zugnu, they're kind of bust. Like, oops. So that's something that you see a lot more in upper leagues, is seeing these potential openings because of the random generation and being like, boom, we're good to go. Like, English Longbow Rush is so good on Gorge because every resource is forward but wood. So the barriers are forward. Even if the goal is on the side, it's usually pretty open. And so you just you had this opportunity here that I think you really could have taken advantage of. Um, just seeing the front gold and going... We're instant. We're instant going in. Like you could still done Abia Kings and just dropped an archery range and then King with longbows. Um, so yeah, I just I just felt like that was an opportunity there for you. Don't keep your scout here as well because you need to scout the rest of the map and you want to see what Porter's trying to do. Um, as he's aging up, you want to see what he opens up with. Is is he is he heavy on wood right now? That probably means he's gonna go production when once this is done. Is he still on food and gold? It means he's probably doing either fast castle or. He's going to do um, a Song Dynasty, so both Feudal Landmarks, which means he's going to go Eco Focus. So you want to see what he's opening up with here. And then you also want to scout the rest of the map so you know where the resources are. Oh, I hope you remember. Oh, no. My man, we had to be careful of this long range gathering. That hurts, 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 hurts. Okay, King's Crossing. Villagers are going to get back in time. He's off gold. Okay, off gold. On this side, at least, generally means he's doing some sort of feudal play. You really need to scout the east side here and see if he snuck out. That's got that scout should be closer with the king here. Horseman. Okay, so horseman. Once he hits about two to three horsemen, he can actually really do work against your king. Um. Okay, TC placement. 
I don't know. I think I would have potentially preferred TC here or TC here. TC here is forward, yes, but it makes it really impossible for him to raid your gold at all. TC here, yes, you're protecting your berries, but the gold could be towered, shot at, things like that. Um, and this looks like you want a fast castle, right? So forward, protecting the gold, assuming that he can't make enough units to push it, I think is kind of your move there. Um, if you want to be aggressive, TC on wood so you can get plenty of wood. But TC on gold, then hypothetically, the white tower would be like here. So then you have all of this space to drop farms. Ooh, that king dive was really bad. He lost a lot of health on that. It's going to take a minute to heal. Yeah, I wouldn't completely run away. Um, But you saw stables. He's making horsemen. What's going to be the adjustment here? Archery range. I would have made barracks. You saw what he's doing, right? Like, longbow are great for defense, right? But if he's going super, super into horsemen, they will run over your longbows. So, I would have just done barracks. Like, you just need spearmen at this point. Until he does other... Unless he does something otherwise, just make a few spearmen. And then rush castle. Um, at this point, if you're not ready to move back out, you got to scout over... Like, see what resources you have. And you need to scout the rest of his side. Or immediately go back and check, is he making units or not? But you saw he's making horsemen. You don't want to leave because his horsemen could just hunt down your king. Make it out of both TCs. That's great. Oh, this is a big no-no. At least you have your scout forward so you see the horsemen. But like, you saw he's making horsemen. Why did you make longbows? And then walk out with longbows. And did you assume he made one horseman? Like, that was pretty dangerous of you, to be honest. Um, because he's he's gonna do the thing where he does the horseman tech and then make his horseman attack faster. And he's being super greedy of food right now. Oh my gosh. So once again, the thing you give up with doing 2TC is that you let your opponent just be super, super food like resource greedy. So he's definitely gathering more than you right now. His food's crazy. Um But this is super risky because if you get someone push him off, he's gonna lose a bunch, but he's not. He's just he massed a bunch of cavalry. And here's the thing you have to worry you have to be careful of with Imperial officials if your opponent's China or Zushi. Same idea of Delhi too, in somewhat biz. If they can make, per if they have anything that boosts the production speed of their buildings, you have to be very careful for just a crazy outmassing. That's what you can do with your council. Your council can produce our Lombos very, very quickly. You don't have that right now. So you're just going to have less units than him, most likely, unless you make more production. Um, you're doing wheelbarrow. I would also do double broad axe. You need a lot of wood. So double broad axe is very worth it. There we go. Not a huge fan of this mill placement. You're going to want to build another house. But if he does just horsemen, he can't really push you. One thing you could do is just like drop a tower. If you're worried about this. Oh my god. You see what I mean? How his horsemen just like ran through. If you've just been making spearmen from the, from the start here. Then he can't dive. It's important to think about your goal, right? What's your goal with this opening? Your goal with this opening is just to get to castle. So you don't need to really push out. The king is nice for if your opponent's just doing like a greedy second TC or a greedy castle, your king can raid. But if he's making units, all you gotta do is just defend because your your bonus comes from getting your farm set up and getting castle. That's what you're trying to get to. So you, there's no need to step up and you only need to make counter units. Um, so yeah. And now he gets free running your base here. Ooh, do not have the villagers chase. That's really bad. Oh, man. You just... You you didn't lose any vills there, which was really good. And then you're like, here, here's some vills. <laughs> you, want, you want some vills? Um, but that was just straight up like you had him. And all you had to do is just like, if he dove again, just keep bringing your villagers back. And just rally spears here. Um... And what he's also had you, what he's also caused you to do, you're now way over invested in feudal. You're making, you've queued up eight spears, you have no food, you're not very close to castle at all, and now he's heading castle right now, right? I swore he just clicked castle. Did he, is he making, oh, he just went to more horsemen. Order, if you're watching this, bad move. You had the resources to go castle, you go castle here. Um, you're not killing him with horsemen. You're just not. Um, this is, that was your chance to go castle. Unless, are you going castle? You mad lad. That's insane. You could have just gone to the deer up here. What are you doing, my man? 
Um, oh, you're just gonna go all in. I think you should have gone castle. You had the opening there, but uh, Porter's gonna win this game. So what do I know? Um, but look what he's done since you. This was there's so many overreactions that happened here. Since you see so many horsemen, you queue up way too many spears. But you use all your food, so now you can't queue up villagers. So not only has he killed villagers, you're now stop making villagers. And now you only have four more villagers than him. So your two TC is completely lost. Um, it's bonuses here. How long does it take for you to make vills? Okay. It's rough. Don't tower so far forward. Just tower next. Like, you actually need it for places for your villagers to hide. Because what he did there, he just ran through and just started killing vills. So just put towers like... You could put a tower like here... I would also wall from here to here, but you could put like a tower in your wood line, a tower here, a tower here. Some of your villagers actually hide if he dives again. But now you're super committed to feudal, which is actually kind of crazy. Nice catch here. That was nice. That's a huge eco loss. And now you see here come the zoo. Here come the Zugnu. Now you need longbows. And now like you're you're committed. Now you now you have to actually make units because at this point you can't go castle. Once this becomes evident that now it's a feudal fight, which honestly, you're on 2TC, you could take this. Just pull off a gold. You have 900 gold. You don't need any more gold. All these bills, so just go on these berries right here and onto the wood. Make like two more archery ranges, and now you're just making longbows. And I would switch into meta arms, honestly. So, what are the adjustments you need to make in the moment? Oh, he's making units? Okay, shit. I need to switch into a better comp. And I'm not going castle. I'm not close. Uh, and I have eco advantage. It's a, it's at 14 minutes now. Um, though. Yeah, you do. You do. Um, Porter, what Porter's doing well here is that he is hyper committing. He's like, okay, I'm just going to fight in feudal. So he's dropped a bunch of production. He's spending all his resources into units. He's going for it. You are still in fast castle eco with this many villagers on gold. I think you just transition into fighting him and pull off gold and just because you got your farm set up. If you just go purely on wood from here on out and just go insane on longbows, you win this. Um, but you have to consciously make that choice. Oh, I do not like these forward farms. Um, just wall from like here to here and then keep farming back here. Um, but like you have to make the choice of. Okay, like, actually stop and go, uh, do I want to fight this in feudal or do I want to go castle? If you want to fight this in feudal, just keep making longbows ch and chill here and then let your food eco kick off. If you're like, no, actually, let's let's fight this thing, then adjust your eco. But you have to make a choice here. I do like getting your upgrades. You need arrow defense right now. Arrow defense is so important against Zugnu. You feel the difference. I'm, I'm glad you decided to leave. Porter gonna go castle now. I feel like what's gonna feel like Porter. You got Porter's gotta go castle here. He doesn't want to fight English and fuel. Nope, he's committing. Okay, now you can go castle. No. What's this white tower get you? This white tower feels cool. Um, it feels cool because you're like, oh, it's in the center can't I, i've locked everything down what's it protecting absolutely freaking nothing man this white tower protects nothing it protects this deer it protects this sacred site and that is it he can literally attack you from two different sides and your white tower does zilch zero nada i see a lot of players in the gold silver plat level do these white towers it's like hell yeah white tower in the center it's like no Put the white tower near your eco. Your white tower should protect your eco. And that's why I originally said put the white tower here. And then all your farm should just like be right here. Like the white tower should be protecting your main eco source, which is usually your farms. So like you could have deleted everything here and put the white tower here. That would have been big. You could have put the white tower here. Like use it to protect vital resources so he can't push in. This doesn't do it. And you're also risking him pushing in right here and, and killing your white tower while you're building it which i think is what's going to happen here i'm prepared oh man
That's gonna be the thumbnail. I already know I'm naming the video because of that. Boom, he comes in with four rams. So here's another thing. You can only guard this white tower with the units you have here. If the white tower was here, for example, or here, and he pushes in, one, if the rams start coming through, the white tower is just ripping through his units, and then your villagers can run up and kill the rams, and if he comes up to kill your villagers, the villagers have a bunch of spots to hop in the white tower to defend it, and then hop out and burn the rams. Because if, if you have 20 villagers in here, it's burning his units. And then once the once the rams get on the white tower, your villagers can pop out 20 of them and then just burn the rams down while your units clear clean them up. The white tower being out here means your villagers cannot support. And villagers are actually really important in defense like this. Like your villagers could do so much burning of battering rams or hopping a white tower. If the white tower is also here or here or here and he pushes up, you could then also put villas in the TC and they're also doing damage. So like you just put your white tower on an island and now it's going to die. I think this is actually an even better picture. You tell you, man, Zugnu, Zugnu die. Zugnu kill, and you have to, yeah. And now you're, and now your, now your village is running out to burn down rams with no cover, with no white tower cover, and the white tower would, your white tower if full, if with 20 villagers in it would have ripped through these Zygnu. Like, absolutely massacred them. I hope you learned your lesson. Where the White Tower... Like, the biggest thing that comes from this is A, where the White Tower should go, or B, you should just commit it to a futile fight once you got your, e your, your eco was set up. You had your eco ready to go, and you could have just fought them. Um, anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Um, I hope you learned a lot from that, and good luck on your future games.